a 12, 15 minute drive to work. I'm gonna finish packing up my stuff, toss my MacBook in my backpack, SSD, gym stuff, play a little bit of ball, and then work out with a girlfriend, meet her at the gym later after work. And yeah, just take it to my damn life as a barber and, and then everything else in between. I gotta go make my lunch too. I'll go to finish that first and then I'll see you guys there. Basically, what I did was flip the phone inside out of the case, so the screen's facing the inside of the, the case right now, and it works. I mean, I can't really see if it's recording or not, but, but yeah, we're headed to work. Earlier, I mentioned that um, I am running a little bit late. It's 11.22, and first client's 11.30. I'm usually not always late, but just trying out this new thing with taking some videos of my everyday life and maybe take you guys along, whoever may be watching this. Um, I had to be a little bit quiet at the house. You know, it being my first time kind of really talking in front of a camera, a little bit weird, but only really if there's other people around. If I'm in my car by myself, I'm sure like, I'll be like this and talk perfectly fine. Um, sister studying, mom works from home, so can't be too loud and they don't really want them to hear me. But yeah, we're headed out to work right now. Let's get it. Some new content and let's see where this goes. Okay, this should be a good, better POV. I'm using my phone, so it's kind of weird. I don't know how close or how far I should be where my face just isn't so up all on the screen. I'm gonna show you some of this, by the way. So we just got to the shop, we just pulled up. Uh, problem though, no one's here at the moment. I had a key, I have a key, but I dropped it at the girlfriend's house. It's where the stairs are and it's like unretrievable. So that's why I don't have a key at the moment. Like I was saying earlier at the house, I'm just trying new content, see how this goes. Always wanted to explore videography and more content creation. Just never had the, not the drive, but the courage to just do it. I've always seen videos and always watched it, but now it's kind of just like, you know what, fuck it, like, like let's do it. So yeah, I'm gonna be taking you guys through my day in life as a barber, see where this goes. Not just within the shop, but my everyday life. You know, we are looking to invest into a nice mirrorless setup with the mic and everything, but probably it's more or less towards the end of the year. We have a trip for Toronto in January. But we really want to put that on the vlog and, you know, see how that goes. I'm, I think it'd be pretty cool. We document all that stuff for us and not only for us, obviously, but people who want to watch. Yeah, so right now we're kind of just sitting and waiting. At least somebody, I think my client actually is here, but oh yeah, he's right behind me. This guy right beside me over here, um, Mr. DoorDash guy, parked super close to my car. Thought he was gonna hit it. We're just gonna sit here and wait for someone to come and I'll update you. Update you guys once I'm inside the shop.
two, three days worth of growth, but I don't like your facial hair. It does not suit me. I always wanted to try and grow it out, but. Chopsticks. So, I think I forgot my lunch at home. Even though I said I was supposed to pack it, I'm gonna get the lunch next door. Way back, way back. It'd be hidden sometimes, though. So. Y'all gonna get a cheesy with bacon and barbecue sauce. Thank you later. Best, best thing to back room, the employee room. It's cute. Something nice to show with the boys in the back, eat some lunch. And uh, after this, I'm on my lunch break. Uh, might get some food next door, we'll see. Yeah, basic duties. How's it going? Good, good. Uh, I'll just grab a cheesy. Uh, I'll make it a, a combo, but uh, for the cheesy, can I add a barbecue sauce and bacon, please? And then just uh, regular fries. Grab a Diet Coke, please. That's everything. Uh, it's on Visa, please. Uh, Matt, I'll eat here. Thanks, brother. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Hey, we about to eat. I'm going to eat this. I'm going to cook this bag. Let's try to eat this. The reason why I get a cheesy over regular burger is because the bread. It's like your sandwich bread, not your typical burger bread. Or maybe it's just... It was just upside down. I actually didn't even notice that. You're, typically, it's a sandwich bread. Like a regular bread that you get the, at the grocery store. They butter it and everything. And it just tastes better than the, the regular uh, burger buns. Let's take a first bite. Yeah, that's a go-to right there. I'm going to munch all my food. Probably head back to the shop, so... for the day at the shop but we are gonna head to the gym so i'm gonna pack up the stuff see y'all at the gym <gasps> okay i know i said earlier before i got here in the shop it wasn't getting that cold it's getting pretty cold that's why we got these gloves <sighs> Keep our hands warm because you know driving manual this shift is cold so we're gonna wait till this car warms up a little bit before we start heading out got our heat warmers on heater blasted all the way i kind of want to have the mic hooked up which by the way is on my jacket right now clip it to here this is definitely something new and definitely worth trying we'll see where this takes us this is just video one so we're off to the gym uh car's all warmed up now and see you guys at the gym yeah I totally regret that statement earlier this morning how i said it wasn't gonna be cold because it's actually freezing about to walk in about to scan in, get this gym grind going. Um, is there any more basketballs for rent out there? Do we have any more basketballs? Yes. yes. Can may I rent one out, please? Sure. Lighter, newer one, or the darker newer one? Uh, what's the darker one look like? I'll take, I'll take this one. That one? Yeah. Okay. First name? Uh, Matt, M-A-T-T. -T. And last. Uh, M-A-S-A-N-G-K-A-Y, perfect. Got it. Perfect. Dead on. Perfect. <laughs> awesome. All right. Thank okay. you. Right. Okay. So we out here for wellness. Seems pretty dead. Didn't like day yesterday. Just gonna try to open up my hips a little bit. That's why I like this gym. I've been to a couple of commercial gyms. Good life. Fit for last. Shapes. Kind of fitness. Uh, they're cool. But like, I think they have a basketball court game changer there's very rare gyms at least here in winnipeg that have hardwood basketball court and i'm paying 60 bucks a month which is like nowadays good life i think if you want to go to their like all all location i think it's like 80 bucks now like this one it has a nice weight room three squat racks two benches dumbbells go up to 100 i think 120 actually and then there's more machines on the second floor because it's 
to buy level. And then there's a track on top. I've been playing lots of volleyball and basketball. Pretty sure I'm doing these wrong. After this stretch, just gonna finish up stretching here and we're gonna shoot around. By any means, I am not no hooper. No, I'm just a casual. We make it work. But yeah, let's get hooping. Oh yeah. So I don't know why, but they uh switch to these random shitty balls. These outdoor never flat because i guess uh, they used to have like the wilson evolution balls like the really good high quality ones like the indoor but um i guess uh everybody kept stealing them they had like i want to say at least like five of them and now i guess because of that they got just like some dinky ones so like no one's inclined to steal them we haven't hooped in a minute i want to say at least a month or so and i used to hoop like every day every morning it's been really busy at the shop um one thing though about this court we got double rims we're just gonna get some shots up before the girlfriend gets here and this is a new area for me like recording content this ball is sh shitty oh yeah i got no legs up in there no whatsoever it's kind of nice that it's dead though oh yeah give me that kind of weird because like kind of just sounds like i'm talking to myself so Holy gang. Uh huh. I definitely feel that burger. I had one clip there. The audio wasn't working. It was, sounded like shit. But at least we're warmed up now. Oh, yeah. Basically, we were talking about what is your guys' greatest basketball shoe of all time. Whether that's nostalgic purposes, whether that's performance, aesthetic, anything. For me, after getting into the way of Wade uh, 10 lows. It's gotta be them, cause aesthetic, color, performance, cushion, traction, everything. It checks off all the boxes. I've owned a pretty decent amount of basketball shoes. What's up, bro? I've had Kobe fours, five, six, get the sevens, didn't like the sevens. I had the eights, and then I stopped at the nines. I had the, the Easter nines, the green ones. Oh yeah, no lefty. We got no left hand over here. Traction on these are insane. They bite. Cushion is perfect. Right amount of cushion, not too much. Couldn't ask for anything better, to be honest. Especially as a wide footer, these did take a little while to break in. I want to say at least like two or three solid games. Aesthetically, I'd probably say the Kobe 5s are probably my favorite. I know most people will say the 6s, which they're dope too, don't get me wrong. But something about the 5s and how sleek they look really revolutionized how the low cut shoes really look like. Oh yeah, look at that. Probably doing some upper body today. Usually there's some runs, but I think it's volleyball tonight at like 6.30. I don't know what time it is. Just no legs at all, bro. Oh, yeah. Come on. What's crazy is that it's dark, it's dark as hell outside right now. And it's probably only like not even 5 o'clock. Oh, these guys playing some volleyball. I'm going to get more shots up, get some cardio in. A uh, girlfriend should be here soon. So I don't know. We'll see. We might film that part of the workout. If not, I'll see you guys back at home. Peace. Hey, what is up, y'all? If you made it this far into the video, I truly appreciate you. I've honestly been meaning to get this video out probably since the beginning of December, but as you guys know, being a barber it is the busiest time of the year, and I just honestly did not have any time to just sit down and work and, you know, finish up all the editing. 2023 has honestly been the best year by far. You know, business is thriving, making so many wonderful memories with my loved ones, friends, family, and my partner. And honestly, these last few months of 2023 have just changed my life in general. And for anyone going through it, whether that's through doubts, fears, and just never took action into those dreams that have always popped up into your head, but have just stayed there. I hope you take this as a sign to just go out there and chase that one thing you've always been wanting to do. 2023, you've honestly been so amazing. So if y'all want to rock with me with this new journey, let's take this first step together. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.